how's it going? So, I was contacted by a firearm accessory company that sells on Amazon a week or so ago, and they offered me a reflex sight for an unbiased review on the product. And the funny thing is, I actually have always bought all of my red dot sights and optics on Amazon because the first red dot sight I ever went to buy, I went into Cabela's. I was looking around and about the cheapest one I could find was like just about a hundred dollars, maybe a little bit under. And I went to the check it out and the guy behind the counter said, Hey, come here, can I tell you a little secret? So between you and me, you can get pretty much the same quality red dot sight on Amazon for about twenty to twenty five dollars. So I tried it out and the product worked great and ever since I've bought all my red dot sights and all my optics for all my weapons on Amazon, as well as many other items like tactical lights, Picatinny rails, pretty much any accessory you can think of because Amazon sells all of that except for ammo and actual firearms. So yeah, I'm pretty excited because I've wanted this style of reflex sight. Let me just show you here before we start doing the close up and everything. I'll just kind of hold it up to show you at a distance. I've always wanted this style of sight. I think it looks a lot better and the cool thing about this is it has iron sights on it too. So let's get this thing assembled and we'll take a look at everything it came with. Let's uh, get it on here and then I'm going to take it out to the range or outdoors of the shooting spot I go to and test it out, get it zeroed in and see how it performs and then I'll come back and give you guys a product review and my opinion on how it performed. This red dot sight came with my Bushmaster XM15 QRC. One of the main differences with this sight and that one is this is a quick release so you just pull this lever back, push it forward and it comes right off. I honestly had some issues with it holding a zero and actually the cheaper $25 red dot sites I got on Amazon, they were more accurate than this was, but I actually never tried those on here. That was on my 9mm high point and my 22, so I'm curious to see how this reflex sight handles up. So anyways, this Feiachi, Feiachi is a brand, I think I forgot to mention that by the way, this Feiachi reflex sight comes with the reflex sight, obviously. cleaning cloth, a little instruction manual, two allen wrenches, and an extra battery, which these are the LR44H batteries. Okay, so let's get these two allen wrenches, I'm guessing one is for the windage and elevation adjustment. And one is for mounting it to the pick rail. Okay, so let's go ahead and mount it. Let's see, I think I had it about right there. We need to loosen this up a little bit. I'm sure most of you know how to do this already, but I mean, some people don't know how to put a red dot sight on. Somebody I was talking to online the other day actually said they'd never even used the red dot sight. Probably just iron sights and scopes, but it's definitely my favorite type of optic to use. And I don't know if that's just because I played too, a little too much Call of Duty growing up or what, but I just love the way they look and love the way they perform. So that's just what I've always used. I actually originally got a scope for my 22, and the guys at Cabela's said it would fit on a 3 8 dovetail mount, but it didn't, so I took it back, and then I decided to get a red dot sight after that, because I wasn't really seeing myself shooting 100 yard shots with my 22, seeing as that was my first firearm purchase. And that's when the employee at Cabela's kind of told me about Amazon and how they have quality red dot sites available there, so that's kind of how it all started. And here we are today, 
they actually contacted me and offered me to keep this reflex site for an unbiased review. And I I was actually had one of these in my wish list already. It wasn't from Fiachi, but it was one very similar, so not sure if the battery is ready to go or not. May have to do something to activate it. Like here's the okay, I need a screwdriver. Also the specifications for this Fiachi reflex sight are it's a tubeless design with a 42 millimeter reflex lens has four reticles, five brightness settings, and the mount is designed for a 20mm Picatinny rail or weaver rail, has a parallax corrected and unlimited eye relief, and it's made with high grade aluminum alloy. Okay, so there's the battery. I wonder if I have to pop something out there to get it to go. Oh, it's probably just flipped the other way. Let's see. Yeah, that must be it. There's positive and negative. Okay. So, it should work now. If you guys can see this, sorry about that. I probably should have done this ahead of time, but hey. Now you guys will know how to do it if you end up buying the same product. And this is actually not the type of battery that has come with most of the red dot sites I've gotten. It's usually the, I believe it's a CR2032 battery. I think that's what's in the Bushmaster one actually. Actually pop that off real quick and take a look. So I think that one you don't even need a screwdriver. You just unscrew right here by hand. Yeah. Yeah, see the difference in battery size on these guys? Yep, CR2032. Which I actually bought a big pack of those because that's pretty much what all my optics use. So this is a change from what I usually get. But it said long lasting battery life, so we'll see how it works. So far, none of the sites I've got have none of the batteries have worn out or needed to be replaced yet. So, I mean, some of them say they last for up to 250 hours. All right, so we got that mounted. Now let's see. One thing that's cool about this is most of them you have to dial for the brightness setting. This has an actual button you tap, and it changes the brightness setting. I'll show you guys what the reticles look like, and then. The next step is to take it shooting tomorrow or the next day, and then I'll give a review on its difference. Oh, it's the low setting. Okay, there we go. Yeah, now you can tell it's a little dot inside of a circle. And then the brighter you get, it just gets so bright for the camera, it just kind of blends in one giant red dot sight. So let's try the next one now, which you just click over the dial. And some of the reviews were saying that it seemed like these different reticles were off to the left, but I don't see anything like that. It seems perfectly centered to me, and I can't see myself having any issues with it. So let's try the different brightness settings of this one. And yeah, I think there is one more. Yeah, that's just kind of the... Let's try the low setting on that one. It's another kind of a circle and a crosshair one, except it's more of a... Or was that the first one? We... No. Oh, instead of just the actual circle, it's kind of like a crosshair inside of a circle. Let me see if I can find that again. Yeah, there it is. Let me get closer. Is it easier to see? Yeah. I'm going to turn this off. You just hold down the brightness setting button for a few seconds, which I just pressed. And see, there you go. And that's how the Feiachi Reflex site works for the reticles and the brightness. So, the next most important thing you're going to want to do before you take your rifle somewhere shooting where you're not getting it zeroed in or 
thinking you're going to be making accurate shots is you obviously need to zero your rifle in. Now, there's multiple ways of doing this. You can get uh, zeroing in target paper, take a shot, make an adjustment, and keep going until you get dead on, which is kind of a pain in the butt and it wastes ammo, but my preferred method is using a bore sight. Now, there's two different kinds of these. There's one that goes in at the end of the barrel with a rubber grommet that holds it steady, and then there's these caliber specific ones like this. This is a 223 Remington. And so you just put three of these. Let's see what these batteries are. They are LR41 batteries. Put three of these in there. Screw the end on. And then it's a laser. And you're just going to want to hold the bow open, drop it in, just like that. And that should line you right up where you need to be. And then you're going to want to turn on your red dot sight. I don't think I will do the crosshairs for this one. And I'm just going to see how accurate it is. See, it's the crosshair is up and to the left from where we need to be. So that means I would need to take this Allen wrench. And this is just at short range, so it's gonna, not going to be that accurate. And you can't. And I mean, they never come zeroed from the factory, really. So it's kind of something you got to do on your own. Now, now you can see, see the crosshairs up and to the left. So now we need to make adjustment. We need to turn it to the right, and we need to drop the elevation down. So I'm just gonna cut for a minute, and then we'll come back. So I got the sight all zeroed in. I did it down one of my longer hallways to get it to about 15, maybe 20 yards or so, because the shorter the distance, the less accurate it is. If you're going I don't know, over 20 yards and you zero it in at like 2 or 3 yards, it's going to be off. And vice versa, like I zeroed it in at probably 20 yards down the hallway, checked it in here, like a yard or two away, and it was off, but I'm going to be shooting at 100 yards, so I'm going to re-zero it in at the range anyways, or the shooting spot we go to out in the woods here. I'm going to buy hooks or somehow attach something through these holes to hang the gongs from the 2 by 4 so I'll have much better targets to shoot at than the pretty lame cardboard boxes with paper tacked or taped to it that I've been using throughout my YouTube career so far so I'm definitely stepping it up for this one and I will continue to do so from now on so and I might even make a video of me making that stand in my work tomorrow if I'm not too busy so we'll see but thanks for watching have a good night, and there's going to be a part two for sure, which will be me testing this side out on this gong, and there might even be a part three, which would be me building the gong hanging target out of the 2x4s and the AR500 steel brackets, so stay tuned. I'll have at least two, possibly three videos coming in the next week, at least by the weekend, for sure, so... Thanks for watching, have a good night, click the symbol in the bottom right hand corner to subscribe and give me a like and I'll see you next time. Thank you.